سورة الأعلى بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم سبح اسم ربك الأعلى Exalt the name of your Lord the Most High نعم سبح إني يعني سي سبحان الله إني يعني سي سبحان ربي الأعلى Where do you say سبحان ربي الأعلى سجود إني يعني سبح اسم ربك الأعلى إني يعني في السجود سبح اسم ربك الأعلى Allah's name is Al-A'la, the Most High. And Allah is Most High in Himself. And He's Most High in His names. And He's Most High in His status. He's Most High in His uh, in control over His creation. الذي خلقك عفوا ما انتهيت. سبح here, it doesn't come with the, the negative meaning. It comes with the positive meaning here. Because سبح has two meanings. A negative meaning and a positive one. The negative one in getting rid of all the misconceptions about Allah. You don't have any misconceptions about Allah. And the positive one is to praise Allah for His perfection. So here the meaning came positive. And he praised Allah for His perfection. He is the Most High. الذي خلق فسوى Who created and proportioned. In everything. والذي قدر فهدى and who destined and then guided and he destined or measured exactly how everything will be and guided in a general way here the guidance is general guidance not the guidance necessarily of the believers but the guidance of guiding everything to be able to live yani for example guiding the animal to be able to eat the food that is healthy not poisonous any guiding the baby to be able to drink from the milk of its mother any the general guidance that all creation gets والذي اخرج المرعى and who brings out the pasture and he brings out the green like the green uh, pasture the green grass after the, the land was dead فجعله غثاء احوى and then makes it black stubble so you imagine and you go from having any broken land that is all just eaten up and then it becomes green again and then it becomes broken again and that's to show you that the day of judgment any the people will die and be resurrected because you see in front of your eyes the land dies and then it comes back to life and then it dies and it comes back to life so allah shows you things that you can understand that you will be you will die and be brought back to life sanuqri'u kafala tansa We'll make you recite, O oh Muhammad, and you will not forget. And you will not forget the Quran, the ayat of the Quran. Illa ma sha Allah, inna hu yaglamu al jahra wa ma yakhfa. Except what Allah should will. Indeed, He knows what is declared and what is hidden. For example, the abrogated verses when Allah Azza wa Jal removes the ayah and replaces it with another ayah. Ma nansakh min ayatin aw nunsiha. نأتي بخير منها أو مثلها. يعني الله makes the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم leave one ayah to bring another ayah in its place. And that only happened in the life of the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم. It didn't happen after his death. ونيسرك لليسرى and we will ease you toward ease. يعني the path of paradise, the path of Allah's religion. فذكر إن فعت الذكرى. So remind if the reminder should benefit. And if the, it'll benefit the ones who any fear Allah Azza wa Jalla and think about it. سَيَذَّكَّرُ مَنْ يَخْشَى He who fears Allah will be reminded. Yeah. وَيَتَجَنَّبُهَا الْأَشْقَى But the wretched one will avoid it. Yeah. الَّذِي يَصْلَ النَّارَ الْكُبَرَى He who will enter and burn in the greatest fire. ثُمَّ لَا يَمُوتُ فِيهَا وَلَا يَحْيَا Neither dying therein nor living. And he doesn't die in it because he doesn't die. His life doesn't end. But he doesn't live in it. And he's tortured, suffered. So he doesn't have a life in Jahannam. But he doesn't die. قَدْ أَفْلَحَ مَنْ تَزَكَّى He has certainly succeeded who purifies himself. That's the apparent meaning of the ayah. As for the meaning of zakah, يعني it's a view some people had قد أفلح من تزكى يعني the one who pays the zakah but the most common one and the, the what is apparent from the ayah is تزكى means purifying yourself وذكر اسم ربه فصلى and mentions the name of his lord and praise 
for he purifies himself from shirk, making a partner with Allah, and then he and he prays. Some of them said it means zakah. So if it means zakah, what does wadakar asma rabbihi fasalla mean? If tazakah means zakah, zakat al mal, wadakar asma rabbihi fasalla, what does it mean? In takbirat al Eid, salat Eid al Fitr. And some of them held it like that. قَدْ أَفْلَحَ مَنْ تَزَكَّى And he pays zakat al-fitr. وَذَكَرَ اسْمَ رَبِّهِ And he makes the takbir of Eid al-fitr. فَصَلَّى And he prays Eid prayer. That is not the apparent meaning of the ayah. The apparent meaning of the ayah is he purifies himself and he remembers Allah and he prays. بَلْ تُؤْثِرُونَ الْحَيَاةَ الدُّنْيَا But you prefer the worldly life. Tu'thirun means you prefer it over the life of the hereafter. And you actually prefer to give precedence to this world instead of giving it to the hereafter. بَلْ تُؤْثِرُونَ الْحَيَاةَ وَالْآخِرَةُ خَيْرُ وَأَبَقَى While the hereafter is better and more enduring. إِنَّ هَذَا لَفِي الصُّحُفِ الْأُولَى Indeed, this is in the form of scriptures. The scriptures of Ibrahim and Musa. So there's a dis- disagreement about the scriptures of Ibrahim and Musa, especially the scripture of Musa. Is it different to the Torah or is the scripture of Musa the Torah? There's a discussion among the scholars about it. Some of them said it's a different book. Any Musa was given the Torah, the Torah, and he was given Suhuf. Suhufi Ibrahim wa Musa. But Ibrahim was given a scripture. Suhufi Ibrahim. But there's a discussion in the scholars of Aqidah discuss it in the topic of Al Iman Bil Kutub, believing in the books. Is it a separate book or is it the same book? Wallahu a'lam.